Hey there, let's talk about sales copywriting. Um, it's kind of an underappreciated, underrated, under talked about field. This video is brought to you by Abby Pies Academy. But it is so important, and I found out just how important it is literally with money that I'm making, right? Because before I really focused on it, I was making mediocre sales. I wasn't sure how to create sales pages. I wasn't sure how to write um, text before you know the buy button, right? I just didn't know, and, and I was all over the place. But once I became good at sales copywriting, it, it just streamlined how I write and how I position my sales pages, my products, and it helped me like raise sales sometimes many fold. Right? That's hundreds of percent sometimes just with sales copywriting. So let me explain what it is. And by the way, I, you know, I'm good at marketing. I'm a tech guy. This is one of my like latest things that I've tacked on to my skills. So I'm still in the process of becoming better myself. So this tutorial is in no way a replacement. You know, it's, it's no way a complete guide. But at the same time, you will get quite a bit. If you've never, you know, you may have heard of copywriting, like you might hire a blogger or something. This isn't that. This is sales copywriting, where you write, it's specifically for writing sales copy, right? Sales for how, either how you're going to present the product or how you're going to write a sales page when people come to your product, you know, how you're going to write the description um, so that it gets the person to buy instead of to go away, okay? So that's what we're going to talk about. Obviously, it's an extremely important topic because we can focus on, it, on all kinds of marketing strategies, right? SEO, social media, word of mouth, referrals, blah, blah, blah. But, 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 that's only to get people to come to our page, right? So they got here, but they just got here. We need to still make them buy, right? So there's a whole huge second piece of that puzzle. And we have to, in sales copywriting, um, every, every marketer, they must master this, right? Because you're going to be working so hard to bring customers to your page, you don't want to lose them. You really don't want to lose them, right? You want to convert as high percentage of them as possible. Okay, so we got to convince them that our product is the best. How do we do that? You've got to paint a picture of you know, in general, of how this person's life is today compared to how this person's life is going to be when they get your product, okay? So, you know, let's talk about my course on, you know, that marketing course on how to reach a million people, right? Well, again, if you're struggling with getting traffic, and here I am saying, here's a course on how to get a million people, um, certainly that is, you know, a before and after that's amazing right if you talk about you know when people sell you weight loss products they have the before and after pictures you want to be you, many people probably have imperfect bodies and they want to have a perfect body and they, they can see before and after now you know that, that kind of weight loss before and after it's been played out so many times that it's not effective anymore but think about when when you early on when that thing was just kind of beginning to be used, how effective it must have been, right? Of course, people can see it. So you always want to build metaphors. You want to get people to picture it. That's sort of high level, okay? See, make them feel and understand and picture how their life will be better. When you write copy, you always want to write the, like, say the word you, right? It's you, you're addressing it to the individual. You, 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 your life will be better, you will get more traffic, you will learn SEO, you'll save money because you won't have to um, hire a, a marketing consultant, right? You know, this, this, these are examples that I just mentioned for um, the, my course on how to reach a million people with your marketing, right? Um, and then, you know, you always want to also address because the person coming in, they're, they're thinking, what's in it for me, what do I get? Right? That's their main question. And you want to ex address that. You're going to get, you're going to learn how to promote your business on your own and reach really wonderful scale 
right? So, so it's clear, that's what people are going to get. You want to describe different benefits. Sometimes people describe features, right? Like the feature is, oh, you will get like 10 hours of content. And by the way, I do mention that, for example, I do mention features actually, maybe it's one of my mistakes. Um, but um, because in my, in my description of the course, I do mention some features like 10 hours of content, 100 lectures, but the truth is you should describe benefits. The benefits are you will get a million people, exposure to a million people. That's the goal of the course. That's the promise of the course that you will learn professional SEO techniques. You will learn professional event social marketing, social media marketing techniques, and you will become a really good marketer and you'll be able to promote and grow your business, right? That should be the promise of the course because that's what the person ultimately wants, right? Because when they grow their business, they know they're going to make money. And that's why they're here in the first place, right? Not to get 10 hours of content or not to get 100 lectures. They're here to learn how to get exposure, how to grow their business, how to make money, how to be successful. Okay. Okay. So, so that's the picture you want to paint. Describe the benefits. Benefits, 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 right? Not features, benefits. Huge. Okay. So also you want to kind of break up your course, uh, your description, if it's a written description, into small paragraphs because sometimes having a big block of text is kind of daunting to read for people and people skip it or they stop reading entirely. So you want to have, uh, you could have many paragraphs but as long as they're broken up into uh, 